Let's get right into it. Number 7. The eye eats what you expect. Picture this. You're staring at a still image of a duck-rabbit hybrid. Yes, that weird 19th century doodle, and your brain is screaming, DUCK! while your eyes are casually trying to peek at the rabbit. Welcome to the world of optical illusions, where your survival instincts are basically freelancing as a confused tour guide. Your brain evolved to make split-second guesses about the world, like, is that shadow a lurking predator or just Greg from accounting? And now it's applying that guesswork to flat shapes on paper. What's fascinating is how easily your visual system can be tricked. Illusions like the classic Muller liar arrows, those lines with arrowheads, pointing in different directions, make you see lengths that aren't actually there. Why? Because your brain is wired to interpret angles and depth cues based on three-dimensional experience, even when nothing 3D exists. It's as if your brain is hosting a 3D modeling contest and forgot to check the materials. And here's the kicker. Illusions don't just confuse your eyes, they mess with your confidence. When you see two lines and one seems longer, your brain shouts, Obviously this one's longer, while your eyes are like, Uh, sure, why not? This tug of war between perception and reality is basically your nervous system throwing a tiny tantrum in your honor. Optical illusions aren't just party tricks, they're reminders that your brain's default mode is survival, not accuracy. It's more interested in good enough to dodge the tiger than perfectly measure this line. And yet, here you are, debating over arrow lengths like a very stressed geometry teacher. So next time someone shows you an illusion and you argue about it like it's your personal insult, just remember, your brain is basically auditioning for a role in a paranoid action movie while you're trying to enjoy a coffee. Thanks. Evolution. Number 6. Motion sickness is just your brain being dramatic. Ever been in a car, staring at the horizon, feeling fine, and then suddenly your stomach decides it wants to start a riot? Congratulations, you're officially a victim of motion sickness. The universe's way of saying, your brain is a diva. Essentially, your inner ear, eyes, and brain are having a miscommunication. Your eyes say, everything's fine, we're stationary, while your inner ear is screaming, nope, we are on the tilt-a-whirl from hell. The evolutionary backstory is actually hilarious. Scientists think motion sickness evolved as a protective mechanism against poisoning. When your brain senses a disconnect between visual input and inner ear signals, it assumes you've ingested neurotoxins that are scrambling your balance. Your body's solution? Vomit. Yeah, evolution literally decided. The safest way to deal with potential poison is to eject it immediately, preferably in public. What's even more ridiculous is how selective your brain is about this drama. You can be on a bus looking at a book. Stomach nodding like a pretzel, but the second you look outside, you're fine. Why? Because your brain finally gets enough sensory context to shut the heck up. Essentially, your body is a toddler throwing a tantrum over mismatched input, and you're just along for the ride, praying it stops before you hit your stop. So next time you're queasy on a boat or feeling like the world is suddenly auditioning for a survivor vomit edition, uh, remember, your brain is just being extremely cautious about imaginary toxins. It's not personal, much. Number 5. Change Blindness, The Invisible Magician Imagine your friend swaps your latte for a frappuccino while you're distracted by the Wi-Fi signal icon, and you don't notice. Congratulations, you're experiencing change blindness, where your brain is basically a terrible magician. Your eyes are recording a perfectly clear scene, but your brain doesn't bother noticing everything. It prioritizes important survival info, like predators or things that could poke you in the eye, over whether your cup just changed beverages. Studies show people can fail to notice major visual changes, like an entire person swapping in a scene. If those changes happen during a visual disruption, such as a blink or a quick glance away, essentially, your brain is saying, eh, your latte looks fine enough. Let's save energy for running from saber-toothed tigers. It's lazily efficient, which sounds great until someone literally changes the Mona Lisa behind your back and you shrug like it's Monday morning. It's weirdly humbling. You could be walking past a street performance and miss someone juggling flaming swords, simply because your brain decided juggling isn't critical survival info. It's also a sneaky explanation for why magic tricks work. Your brain just ignores certain stuff, giving magicians the perfect opportunity to look like sorcerers. The takeaway? Your vision is a lot less faithful than you think. You're living in a slightly hallucinated version of reality, and the world can swap in frappuccinos, red cars, or even entire humans without your conscious awareness. Your brain is basically the lazy roommate of your eyes, doing the bare minimum to keep you alive and mostly upright. Number 4. The Stroop Effect. Words versus Colors. Ever tried reading the word red, written in bright blue ink and felt your brain start twitching like a caffeinated squirrel? Welcome to the Stroop Effect, the ultimate cognitive tug of war where your brain's language center and visual center refuse to play nice. It's basically your mind's version of two toddlers fighting over the same toy. 
except the toy is reading without melting into frustration. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. Your brain has gotten really good at reading, so when it sees a word, it automatically wants to process its meaning. Meanwhile, your visual system is screaming, No! Focus on the color. The conflict slows you down and makes you feel like your neurons are having a tiny existential crisis. Psychologists use the Stroop test to measure cognitive flexibility, the brain's ability to manage competing information, and honestly, it's a cruel little window into just how easily your mind can be sabotaged by text and color. The irony is delicious. Something as simple as colored words can make you doubt your own intelligence. Your inner monologue is probably screaming, I know red is red, while your fingers obediently type blue. Evolution didn't prepare you for this, because somewhere back in the savannah, no one was being quizzed on word color mismatches. The Stroop effect is basically your brain being punished for getting too good at reading. Fun fact, your performance on Stroop tasks can even reveal stress levels, fatigue, and attention disorders. So next time someone shows you a Stroop test, just nod solemnly and mutter, Yes, my prefrontal cortex is throwing a small tantrum. And because that's literally what's happening, your neurons are auditioning for a drama club, and the audience is your sanity. Number 3. Deja vu your brain glitches out. Ever walked into a room and suddenly felt like you've been there before, even though you haven't? Welcome to Deja Vu, your brain's favorite little existential prank. Essentially, your memory circuits get slightly scrambled, creating the illusion of familiarity. It's like your hippocampus hit copy-paste on a memory you don't actually have. Neurologists think Deja Vu happens when your brain experiences a tiny temporal mismatch between the sensory input it's currently receiving and the memory retrieval system. Basically, the now signal arrives a few milliseconds late, and your brain interprets it as old news. Your conscious self goes, I've been here, while your subconscious whispers, Nope, you just hallucinated that. What's fascinating is that deja vu is extremely common. Up to 70% of people report at least one episode in their lifetime, and yet, it's completely unreliable. It's like your brain's version of a bug report. It knows something's weird but doesn't bother explaining it. Some theories even suggest it's linked to memory consolidation during sleep meaning your brain is quietly practicing the scene in advance and then pranking you with familiarity when you encounter it in real life. The funny part? Deja vu feels profound and mysterious, but the explanation is basically, your neurons misfired for a fraction of a second. Philosophy may be dramatic, but neuroscience says, chill, it's just a glitch. Your brain is basically showing off, saying, I can simulate reality in real time, sort of. Number 2. The Hollow Face Illusion Imagine walking into a wax museum and watching a mask swivel its head to keep staring at you. Creepy, right? That's the hollow face illusion, where a concave mask, like the inside of a face, looks convex, like a normal face, no matter which way you view it. Your brain just refuses to accept the hollow reality because it has a stubborn face detection module that overrides basic geometry. Your visual system is basically like, a face is supposed to pop out, not cave in. End of discussion. So even when the shadows and depth cues scream concave, your brain shrugs and goes, Nah, looks normal to me. Evolution hardwired us to recognize faces instantly. It's crucial for survival, social bonding, and figuring out who's about to steal your fries. That shortcut works great most of the time. But illusions like this expose the cheat codes. Your brain prioritizes face recognition over physical accuracy. What's wild is that this illusion is so strong, even knowing the trick doesn't break it. You could literally stick your hand into the hollow mask, see your fingers disappear inside, and your brain will still say, Yep, still a solid face. Nothing weird happening here. It's basically the Jedi mind trick of optical illusions. And psychologists love it because it reveals just how much of your vision is prediction rather than perception. You don't see reality, you see your brain's best guess. In this case, your brain guesses so hard, it creates a face where there isn't one. So next time you see that hollow mask following you around the room, don't worry, you're not haunted. You're just experiencing evolution's stubborn insistence that every dent is secretly a nose. Number 1. The Checker Shadow Illusion, Shades of Gaslighting Take a chessboard pattern, put a cylinder on it, and shade a square so it looks darker than the one next to it. Simple, right? Wrong. In the Checker Shadow Illusion, two squares that are exactly the same shade of gray look wildly different because your brain automatically compensates for lighting and shadow. Basically, your brain is gaslighting you with math. Here's how it works. Your visual system isn't concerned with raw light levels. It's obsessed with interpreting context. A square in shadow is supposed to look darker, so your brain cranks up the brightness to correct it. Meanwhile, a square in the light is supposed to look brighter, so your brain dims it. The result? Two identical colors look completely different, and your brain smugly insists it's being helpful. This trick is actually tied to survival. Back in the day, 
It was way more important to know whether that fruit was ripe under dappled shade than to calculate the exact photon levels hitting your retina. Your brain evolved to do relative comparisons, not absolute measurements, which is great when you're trying to tell a banana from a rock, but now it just makes you lose arguments with an image file. Even after someone shows you the true shades by isolating them, your brain still can't unsee the difference. That's the wild part. Your brain is less interested in reality than in usefulness. And if reality disagrees, too bad. Basically, your visual cortex is the pushy friend who insists, trust me, I know what I saw, even when proven wrong. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.